We're here this weekend for the Los Angeles Business Council Julia Schulman Emerging Talent Award Competition. UCLA and Mark One program. Woodbury University. Woodbury University. We're from USC. California State University, Long Beach. Cal Poly Pomona. Otis yeah. College of Art and Design. And we're we are from SIAC. We are pleased this year to have a project that is very important to Los Angeles County and the neighborhood of Willowbrook in Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas's district. And we are fortunate to have Dan Rosenfeld as an advisor to the jury during the deliberation process. Using the reopening of the facilities at the Martin Luther King Medical Center campus as a catalyst for development and new opportunity in uh, the South Los Angeles neighborhood. And so this weekend, what we're asking all the students to focus on is the continuing care retirement community, which brings together assisted living and independent uh, senior living into one neighborhood and really starting to understand how the context is just as important as the site and, and creating a successful project. Day two uh, out of three. It's going quickly, but it's coming along. Posted here at the Gensler office downtown. We got three days to hash out a design. Pretty sleepless, but it's been really good. It's been really fun. This is our first trip, and actually me and him have another one next Saturday. So it's like a great experience to get from this one and like take it to that one as well. Right now we've filtered out a lot of our ideas and we're working on really narrowing down our scheme. It's the last small portion of a big master plan, kind of last missing piece. The progress the students have made in just a day is incredible. I've been walking around from table to table and the schemes couldn't be more different from each other. So our intent with the community center is to offer micro communities and have that be woven with the landscape. Another aspect we've been focusing on is the reality that the circulation for an assisted living community is really kind of a social space and trying to bring the front porch culture of the surrounding community. Looking at it as a, you know, the whole in parts and parts of the whole and kind of these integrate each other and become uh, part of the thing. design that is integrated also with the concept. So it'll, everything becomes kind of a, of a loop, interconnected. We keep telling each other to don't get too caught up in the details because we really mm -hmm. want to get into, you know, like each person's story and how they relate with the community there, but try to keep zooming out to look at the big picture. We have a central walkway it's going through all different levels and it's cutting through the buildings throughout the space and that kind of connects to the rest of the community and the neighborhood as well. We started off with the ocean wave and there's a pulling and a pushing and we wanted the community center to be a pulling of the outside neighborhood as well as the wellness center so that there's this creative dialogue. We're adding this feature called an agora. So it has gathering open spaces. They meet together in that space. They get to interact with younger people, their family, people who will be helping them go through their aging process. So it's, it's kind of exciting. We picked up on the idea of having it be an active, healthy community. That's why we have a walking path or a jogging path running through the whole thing to push this idea of exercise. Most of our communal programs break off of it, creating this sort of central spine. Looking at the, um, the idea of track as like the jewel of the entire piece. We sort of questioned the, the typology of, of a slab building and stacking all of these units vertically. We've decided to try and spread them out across the site in more of a mat format and create a carpet scheme that allows uh, units to be much more intimate and we're lucky enough to be staying at the, the Neutra VDL house this weekend. I had a little panic attack the other day when I woke up and realized that I was in uh, Dion Neutra's bed. We've been using that to help fuel our design and our energy. We decided to interview students actually across the street at the high school and they didn't have a place to do PE. We asked the people who also worked at the hospital or at the medical center and they also asked for a place to walk during their breaks so that they can get a little bit of exercise during the day. We looked at the current circulation of the bike path, of people walking. So we decided to incorporate that into our design, kind of blurring the lines between what is private and what is public. We convened a jury consisting of six nationally and internationally known architects to judge the students' proposals. Well, it's, it's a pretty heavy jury tomorrow, so we're definitely looking forward to it. It's an honor to present in front of Tom May, and he's one of the really influential professors at our school. The whole purpose of it was to expand the definition I think, you know, in my mind, that, that's the sort of interesting, meaningful 
challenge here. I remember when I was in school, the connection between having the right kind of ideas about function and how people would interact in a project, and then our formal response. Sometimes there's like a total disconnect until you had some years under your belt. I sensed in each of these sometimes a different formal response than I would have imagined based on how they approached it. I'd like to then question some of the formal responses to really get them to implement their idea. Just uh, amazingly uh, clear presented, yeah. just nailed it, happened to be quite a sophisticated scheme. Also doing something with gardens for medicine, I mean, you know, and taking it one step further, therapeutic gardens in, in those conditions are really important. And I look at this as like an economic development catalyst. Also, how do you attract middle-income families who want to live? in what's known as Watts community, but this is something that could do it. After all the presentations were completed, the jury selected a winner and up to three honorable mentions. The winner will be announced during the awards luncheon on June the 5th.